Hey guys, um, I found a new out of bounds glitch in Metal Gear Solid 4. It's um, using the Drebin door at, um, in Act 1. As soon as you're done talking to him and you leave to go to the rubble, the door actually is closing at the um, start of the when it loads, as soon as you can see Snake. And if you're fast enough, you can actually roll through the door before it closes and get out of bounds. So I'll see if I can show you here as soon as the level loads up. You have to turn around the camera as fast as you can and roll through like that. There. And then you're in the door as it closes. And we are through the area that Drebin is supposed to be in. This is where we meet Drebin. And we're out of bounds here. And as you can see there, that's the other part of the rubble. So this would be ideally a very fast way to do the rubble skip. And this would help a lot. But sadly, um, everything's blocked here. And it will not let you cross. So we kind of get fucked again. Which is a really big kick in the balls. But nothing we can really do. At least it's a new glitch. Yeah, that's the other side of the city right there, out of bounds. But yeah, you can walk around out bounds here. That's the door that normally Drebin locks after you leave and you can't get through. But if you roll fast enough, you can just get through the other side before it closes. Pretty much once you get in here, though, you're trapped. I haven't found a way to get out of here yet, sadly. There might be a way to blow ourselves over something, but it really sucks because this would be a super fast way to skip the rubble and it'd be even faster for a speedrun. Because all we'd have to do is, as soon as this area loads, roll through this door and then walk over here past the rubble, and we're at the at, at the Advent Palace. Also, if we weren't trapped here, we could follow this wall along through the left, past there, and go th past the left side of the city out of bounds, and also possibly skip the Advent Palace. It might be possible, but yeah. <laughs> you can see there's also boxes out of bounds here. I don't know why they put these here. You can't climb on them, but you can get yourself inside them if you want. And you get some really funky camera angles. It's pretty weird. So you got snake in the boxes here. So yeah, it's a new out of bounds glitch. Kind of a confined area, but it's really cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, guys, I just found a little update in this glitch. It's actually very easy to pull off. You don't even have to roll through. You can just walk. As soon as it loads, you just want to hold both sticks right. And as soon as you see the door, just walk through it, and it will stay open. <laughs> and you can pretty much just go out of bounds in there if you want. And as long as you stay close enough to the door, you will not have it close on you and lock. So you can see how the level there and still like see the wall reflect the other side. So you're obviously not allowed to be in here. And you can just keep the door open. I tried um, going through the wall halfway in, half out while the door's open because I thought maybe that would um, be possible with it open, but you can't. Um, that's about the extent of it though. You can just stay with the door open. I can't really think of any other ideas. I tried to blow myself on those boxes, but they're not really solid. And you still get stuck, but yeah, you can be in here with the door open, and you can keep opening it. But when it does get shut for good, and it's shut for good, you're pretty much locked in there as usual. And now we're fucked. Out of bounds. Alright, thanks for watching.